Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to explore the new updates recently released for Lightroom Classic CC. But first, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs. Before we begin, you'll want to make sure that you have the most recent update of Lightroom installed. If for some reason you don't see this update inside of your Adobe Creative Cloud Manager, one of two things could be happening. First of all, you need to make sure that your operating system is up to date. Otherwise, Adobe will not even show you that the update is available. And secondly, if you're listening to this video on the day of its release, Adobe may not have rolled out this update to you just yet, but it should appear at any time. I always like to check out the Adobe website to see what these updates are about. And when I first read these particular updates, I thought, well, that sounds interesting. Creative profiles. I wasn't sure what that was about. Adobe raw profiles have been updated. This was great news and the tone curve was expanded, but I didn't get really excited about this update until I started to explore it inside of Lightroom. Let's take this photo into the develop module. And the reason I selected this photo is because it's just a snapshot and it has a lot of different colors in it. And I thought it would be interesting to explore the profiles. The first thing I'm going to do is apply Susie's favorite preset, which is something that I apply to every image. And that's gonna be a little bit too bright. So I will adjust the exposure, come into the lens correction, make sure constrained crop is selected. And again, I still think that that looks a little bit bright, so I'm gonna pull that down. Okay, this is a good starting point. As you can see, I shot this with my Fuji X100F. Now you'll notice there's a new profile called Adobe Color. Previously, when you imported a raw image, the Adobe standard was selected as the default, unless you made changes to it. But now we have the Adobe Color Profile, which is much more accurate and robust. I think that you'll find when you import your raw files into Lightroom with this update that you like the resulting change much better. Let's take a look at the before and after. We're going in a great direction. It's now time to explore these creative profiles. So let's click to show the profiles and I'm going to collapse this modern. What we're looking at here is called the profile browser. We have color profiles and black and white profiles. Now these are different than presets. They don't adjust sliders, which is great because now I can apply the presets that I want and or combine them with these profiles. We have the Adobe Raw Profiles, which we've seen before with the exception of the new Adobe Color. And what's really nice about this profile browser is that as you hover your mouse over these profiles, it will actually show a preview for you. Let's take a look at the camera matching. So you can see we have different standards for the camera, but I'm actually more interested in these four at the bottom, the artistic, black and white, modern and vintage. So we have Artistic 1, Artistic 2, Artistic 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm showing these to you in case you don't have this update yet. Artistic 7 and 8. Those are pretty interesting. I don't know that I would use those. The black and whites, I don't know that we need to go through all 17 of them, but when I was looking through these black and whites, I thought to myself, this reminds me of a much cleaner Photoshop conversion and I really like it. So I would just have to spend some time exploring these different profiles to see which one would work best for me. And I'm assuming that you can also create presets that assign a particular filter. Actually, we're gonna try that in a moment. That's a great idea. Okay, let's collapse these black and whites and take a look at the modern. Modern one adds a lot of contrast. Two is a little bit less. Okay, so these are just some different types of edits. I actually think I like this modern four. Modern five is very desaturated and there's a few more. Let's take a quick look at these vintage presets, which I assume will start to look a little bit reminiscent of film 
and I think that they do. These are definitely very creative. I don't know that I would apply them to my images on a regular basis, but it is interesting to explore them. Let's go back to this modern four, I believe was the one that I liked. I'm going to apply that to this image. So right now I have Susie's favorite applied as well as this modern four. Let's take a look at the before and after, and I really like it. So what I'm going to do in a moment is try to save this as a new preset that combines my favorite preset along with one of these new creative profiles just to see how it behaves. But before I do that, what I wanted to point out is we also have this amount slider, which is really nice because you can reduce the amount of these profiles, but you can also increase the amount, which is quite interesting. I don't know that I would have thought of that, but I'm gonna leave this at 100 for now. So there's a quick look at the profile browser. I'm going to close that browser and come over to my presets and well, that's another interesting thing. Did you see that? As you hover your mouse over the presets, you now get a preview. Previously, you would only see that preview in the navigator window. So that is definitely new with this update. Okay, I am going to create a preset and I'm going to name this Susie plus Modern 4 because that's the creative profile that I used. I'm going to save that in that particular folder and create. Now let's go to this image and see if we can apply that, how that looks. Perfect. I just need to go into lens corrections and make sure that I can strain that crop. But let's take a look at the before and after. Wow, I'm actually really excited about these creative profiles. I was not a huge fan of the presets that ship with Lightroom, but I think Adobe has really upped their game when it comes to these creative profiles. They just feel like cleaner edits to me. And really quickly, I just wanna show you two more things that were included with this update. Number one is that the dehaze slider is now located in the basic panel, which I find much more convenient. And also, Adobe increased the size of the tone curve. And the reason they did that is so that you can fine tune these adjustments with more precision, which I think will be quite helpful. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.